Kelsen's not dead, everyone. Calm down. It's okay. I'm just gonna spoil that because it's not really much of a spoiler. It's like, oh, next, it's like we're gonna, we're gonna find out like very next case. Like, oh, look, he's not dead. Well, that's a new one. That's a new shape for this. The troop is out on Elijah Field, despite you know Leland's Monroe's best efforts to bury it. Really? Did we tell it, sell it to the news or something? I guess we'll find out. What is left to do? Oh, okay. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Hogan Boone, weapons company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogan Boom. I want flamethrowers and VAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them. We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers! Head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Idiot Cole. God. You should you have further memory loss? God damn. A polite invitation. Oh, really? We burned down a bunch of caves and we get a polite invitation. Cool. Looking good. Jack Kelso stars as himself in Hello, Miss Lichtman. Desperate Housewives oh, 2. Sitting there. Not long, Mr. Kelso. I never watched a show, so I don't know if that actually makes sense. You're but a lovely princess. You haven't exactly I tried to come up with something. <laughs> God damn, why is everyone trying to get on an Elsa? I'm a big boy. Just calm down, we haven't we don't need another love triangle bullshit here. Please. Call me Elsa. Hey Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for RKO, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. You don't mind, Elsa. So, what about that? Rest now. What does that mean? A lot more dots to join. Just said carpenter. Hands. Was he Jesus? That's perfectly understandable, Mister. Jesus was a carpenter, apparently. Jack, supposedly. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic. He was real <laughs> at all. <laughs> even I like I mean, real, princess. even in that non-divinity sense. That. Oh, whatever. I was already banged cold, Jack. Just you know, let it go. Are you Kelso. Who's asking? Peterson, assistant <laughs> DA. You're in the wrong building, Hello. Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. <laughs> Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. All right. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said how that colorful? You might know something How about many colors? With colorful characters, Peterson. How many colors did he have? First, they send you over a drink. 
Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Lena oh. Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? <laughs> All right, I guess he's listening. Oh, hey. Pay Curtis Benson a visit. Oh, shit, am I going to kill him? Thanks for kill the my boss up, now. Might be the only R I just call everyone I princess. I'm just gonna I just call every female princess, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, nope, that's just a glass. Tell so. There's not even any water in it. Just fucking relax. Is there really nothing here? She doesn't say anything? Okay, cool. Quiet nurse. Maybe she's, uh, maybe she's mute. I don't know. Hmm. Hello. Wanna talk? The only reason some people get lost in talk is because it's unfamiliar territory. Hmm. That's pretty... Yeah, that's pretty... That makes sense. I'd say you're... I'd say you're right on the ball there, or whatever the fuck your name is. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck this shit. Nothing here for me. Uh oh, medical clinic. Looks like a fucking bread and breakfast. <laughs> Let's see. Is there something to investigate this clinic? Really? I'm just gonna say... You know, I'm gonna say forget it. Screw that. <laughs> Seriously. Slow down, My god, really? You're gonna keep driving? You, you just slow down. You're the idiot who needs to slow down. I'm the one who's trying to go ahead. Idiot. God, so stupid. Oh yeah, right, we're gonna go meet my boss. I guess we're gonna go kill him. Gotta tie up another loose end. So yeah, I, I expect to not be seeing that Mexican bartender again. If I, if I keep seeing him, then I'll know something's up. This town is officially cursed. 100% proof. No doubts. No doubts about it. That's all I can say. Tide goes in, tide goes out. You can't explain that one. Curtis Benson's apartment, 9.59 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Alright, uh, let me just go look at this. Hmm, so he is number two, right next to Sylvester. A Sylvester. Hmm, the cover up for Sylvester Stallone. I know, I know it. He's here. They're working together on this. Of course, he made his cover up name so obvious. It's to make me think it's not true. It's just too obvious to be true. But I can see through it. Hey, Hello bitch. Me? Jack. I'm trying to kick your ass. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune <laughs> moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. Smooth, Curtis. I'll get that. <laughs> Can look at the window before he answers the door. Still manage to be polite. Oh, damn. Jack, I'd be a lot more suspicious in this line of business. I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give or it up, or I beat I it out. Say. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. <laughs> Who do you think you are? 
Get out of town. Well, now you're getting all tough. I still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> oh. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. And then I'm gonna kill you. After I interrogate you. And then you'll be dead. And then I'll have the law on me, but that doesn't matter. Because I'm Jack, I'm loose cannon. And I break the law if it means getting through my case. Notice that like we're always being like really kind of dirty and corrupt in order to stop dirty and corrupt, in a sense. <laughs> well, sometimes that's what you gotta do, I guess. At least in these stories. Oh shit! Get all of the stockholders. I what exactly do you expect trip. to find, Jack? At least we're not like. Oh. These are not like total cunt holes like Renegade Shepherd. <laughs> oh boy. If I ever do Mass Effect, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do Mass Effect sometime in the, in the distant future. And if I do, and if I do, or when I do, if I do Renegade. Oh boy. Well, we'll just see how that goes. Let's see. Oh, what am I hitting? made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. Oh shit. How old are you, princess? Sixteen, Mr. Day. Whoa. Wait a minute. That How voice and face is kind of familiar. Nearly thirteen. Really? You take love where you can find it as you get old. Love? Doesn't... That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Doesn't really look thirteen to me. I would actually... I find them very tiring. You're finished, I would Curtis. actually, I would have actually that believed sixteen, be but Jack. whatever. I haven't told you about <sighs> my new job, Curtis. Actually, not even thirteen; it was twelve. DA's investigating. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? <laughs> Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he buys me nice things. Get dressed. Wait, so you don't actually do anything? So you don't actually do anything. He just sits over. He just stands. He just sits over you and's like, Ugh, Ugh. Jeez, I didn't know they. Let, well, I, I didn't know they just let twelve-year-olds like walk around like that. <laughs> back in, especially back in forty-seven, or maybe they did it more back then. I don't know. I hear that like parents are more, over, more over, overprotective these days than back in the day, which I can kind of see. I can kind of see that. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. Oh, really? Vice President of California Fire and Life? Oh, so you're not the main dude. Okay, who's the main don't dude? I never Curtis? heard about him. You're Vice President of the company. Why take who's the president? risk? It's a simple business transaction. Is the President of the United States? You're really? lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? <laughs> How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? Well, at least you didn't say proof. Uh... Oh. I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as Yeah, control? Curtis. Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. Oh. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital mean? of the West, backwater. not San Francisco. This oh. place will be the city of the 20th century. Yeah, that's actually true. You're actually right about I'm that. I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, That's Curtis. pretty you accurate, your actually. You're... We'll see I have to admit, that, you Jack. are a bit of a vision. You're a pretty good visionary there, in that sense. You certainly got that correct. I'm surprised it's not already the fucking lead, isn't it? Like, basically, this is basically like fucking Celebrity Central here. Tell me about the Whatever. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business yeah, I can. Who have joined forces to 
meet the demand for new homes. Really? Tell me about really the suburban redevelopment fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Why are you getting so jumpy? Information. Oh, really? I can, huh? Business people who have joined forces <laughs> to meet the demand for new homes. Oh, that's simple, huh? You're lying, Curtis. Yeah. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on it. And how do you prove that, Jack? He's carrying the insurance. Hmm. Interesting. So he gets paid for it. Uh, semi-government agency partially funded by private investment linked to Elijah Fields. I don't know if that's good enough. I don't even know what that means. Uh, what semi-government agency? What are, you, what are you talking about? For now. I mean, I know the government's involved in this, but like... Okay, let's see the shit. Hold on. We're talking about the future. Wait, what are we again? Oh, we're California Fire and Life. We're not Elijah Fields. Okay, I'm gonna have doubt. You and Monroe are oh, okay. going to scam those guys out of the GI bond. Jack, you are so naive. That was okay. No, oh, that really, that's it? Wow. Okay, I... Suburban... So, was it redevelopment fun? Was that the answer? I don't know. Why the big payoff Whatever. from the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lickman as the I beneficiary. Uh, I guess it's true, account. although the they did kind of. Law detective becoming her lover, and you, Jack. Oh, you know about him. Taking their bait. You wow, you know about all that. And use it to build Damn. Houses. How do you expect if you guys already know like who's behind all this, why just execute them? Reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Uh. Oh. Slug, son of a bitch, you're lying again. It's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that? Yeah, we actually have evidence for this. My assessor it's a thing we went to the place again. On the houses. It's this, right? Uh, I only approve the report. Really? Today. I'm the rubber stamp. This doesn't come back to me. But very neat, Curtis. This is very quality. It's maybe I but, can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. How do you know that? He, you, you stayed away from him for so long. Oh, right, there's some more. Oh, wait, nope. Whoops. I thought that was the door there. <laughs> uh, that closet door. Okay, apparently there's still something here. I'm just gonna hug the walls. Hug the walls. Hello. I knew you were in bed with the Legion, Curtis. Now I know why. Yay. Is that it? Your car is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. 